Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will learn residues and how to find residues and then Cauchy residue theorem. At the last, we will solve some example using Cauchy residue theorem. Let's start with residue. Here, small a is an isolated single point of any function fj. Then residue of fj at j equal to a is denoted by res that big bracket j equal to a big bracket close equal to this is equal to the coefficient of 1 upon j minus a in Lorentz series expansion coefficient of 1 upon j minus a and that coefficient is b1 and that b1 is nothing but residue okay so b1 equal to 1 upon 2 pi i sign of integration c fj dj from here I can get that if uh, I will change the side of 2 pi i, I will take this side then c fj dz will be the c the integration along the curve c fj dz that will equal to 2 pi i residue at z equal to a. Now we can state the Cauchy residue theorem. Cauchy residue theorem in general is if fj is analytic in a closed curve c except at some finite number of points like a1, a2, I'm taking only three points here, suppose a3 and dot dot dot, so on. So in that case, the integration along this curve C, fj dz, this is equal to 2 pi i residue at a1 plus residue at a2 plus residue at a3. So this is called Cauchy residue theorem. Now the question is, if we want to solve this thing, then we need to calculate residue at a1, residue at a2 and residue at a3. Now the question is how to find residue at a1, a2 and a3 and so on. So calculation of residues. Method to find residues. Case 1, small a, that point is an essential singularity of fz. In that case, residue of z equal to a is coefficient of z minus a. This is the basic definition. So how to do that? Let me take this example. fz equal to exponential 1 upon z minus 2 is given here. And we need to find the residue at z equal to 2. So what we can do here, we know expansion of exponential x. Exponential x that is equal to 1 plus x plus x square upon factorial 2 plus dot 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 and so on so in place of x we are we have here 1 upon z minus 2 so this is equal to 1 plus 1 upon z minus 2 plus 1 upon factorial 2 z minus 2 whole square plus dot 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 now you can see here this is an essential singularity essential singularity means infinite number terms in the principal part of Lorentz series expansion so residue at z equal to a is the coefficient of 1 upon z minus 2. So the coefficient of that is equal to what? 1. This is unity here. So this is equal to 1. So this is how we find the residues in case of essential singular point. Now case number 2. In case number 2, if small a is a pole of order 1, we need to understand that pole can be of order 1 or more than order 1. Residue at z equal to a in case of simple pole is given by this formula limit z tends to a then z minus a that will be multiplied with that given function fz okay and the limit will be z tends to a. Now we will understand this with the help of this question classify singular points and find residues isolate at isolated singular points at isolated singular points. So that is sin z divided by z minus 3 into z minus 1. After putting denominator at 0, we will get the pole. So poles are z equal to 3 and z equal to 1. And we can see here, both are of the order of order 1 or we can say simple pole. Now residue at z equal to 3 is given by using this formula, limit z tends to 3, z minus 3 into fz, fz is what? Sin z upon z minus 3 into z minus 1. So fz is this, sin z upon z minus 3 into z minus 1 z minus 3 and z minus 3 will be cancelled out. So I will get limit z tends to 3 sin z upon z minus 1. Putting z equal to 3 here, we will directly plug in the limit. So this will equal to sin 3 upon 2. 
Now, how to find the residue at z equal to 1? Same, at z equal to 1 also, the pole of order 1. So, limit z tends to 1, z minus 1, fz. This is equal to limit z tends to 1, z minus 1 into that function. Function is sin z. This is the function sin z upon z minus 3 into z minus 1. Here, z minus 1 will be cancelled out. Yes, and the, now put limit z tends to 1, sin z upon z minus 3. Again, I can plug in the limits. So, sin 1 upon 2 with the negative sign. So, this is the residue at z equal to 1 for this function. Now, we can go for the case number 3. If A is a pole of order M, now how to deal with it? Residue at z equal to A in this case is given by limit z tends to A 1 upon factorial M minus 1 into d m minus 1 dz m minus 1 means m minus 1 time we have to differentiate this particular function that function is z minus a raised to power m into fz so let's see how this formula works if fz equal to exponential z divided by z minus 2 whole cube then find residue at z equal to 2 this is a question here you can see that z equal to 2 is a pole of order 3 putting that denominator as 0. So, I will get z minus 2 equal to 0. So, this is z equal to 2. So, this is so pole of order 3. So, residue at z equal to 2 equal to limit z tends to 2 1 upon factorial m minus 1. m is 3 here 3 minus 1 d raised to the power m minus 1 3 minus 1 dz 3 minus 1 m is 3 z minus a whole cube into fz. So, here you can see that limit z tends to 2, 1 upon factorial 2, n upon factorial 2, d2 upon dz2, z minus 2 whole cube into fz. So, in the next line, fz is exponential z divided by z minus 2 whole cube, z minus 2 whole cube and z minus 2 whole cube will be cancelled out. Exponential z will differentiate this particular thing twice. So, exponential z putting this value z tends to 2, it will be like exponential e square and this factorial 1 upon 2 is factorial 2 means 2 into 1. So, that is equal to 2. So, this is the residue at z equal to 2. So, this is how we can find the residues at poles and residues at essential singularity. Next, we have applications of Cauchy residue theorem. To do that, first we will understand Cauchy residue theorem. Cauchy residue theorem states that if fz is analytic, Inside that closed curve C, except at finite number of points A1, A2, let me take A3 and so on, then the integration along this closed curve C of Fz is given by 2 pi i into residue at z equal to A1, residue at z equal to A2, residue at z equal to A3. It can be stated in another way also. This is equal to 2 pi i into some of residues at all singular points lying inside C. This is very important that we have to find uh, residues only at those points which are lying inside C. So, now we will use this to evaluate this question, evaluate uh, integration of this along the curve C, exponential z, z minus 2 whole cube dz, where capital C is the circle of mod z equal to 4. So, for this process, first of all, we have to find that singular point. So, singular points will be z minus 2, z minus 2 whole cube equal to 0. So, that is z equal to 2. So, z equal to 2 is a singular point. Now, we need to check that z equal to 2 is lying inside this circle C or not. So, here we can see that mod of z equal to 4 and this is z equal to 2. So, z equal to 2 lies inside the inside this circle. How to know that? It lies inside or outside. This is mod of z equal to 4. So, we need to check z equal to 2 lies inside or outside. Put z equal to 2 here. So, I will get mod of 2. So, which is less than the radius 
which is less than the radius if it is less than the radius then we will say it lies inside if it is greater than the radius then we will say that lies outside so what does it mean is lies inside the circle c now using cauchy residue theorem cauchy residue theorem states that this is equal to 2 pi i sum of res all residues at all singular points which are lying inside c so lying inside c only one singular point is there and that singular point lies inside c so we need to find the residue at z equal to 2 this is a pole of order 3 so residue already we have calculated in our last last slide that is equal to x e square upon 2 so we'll use this directly here so residue at z equal to 2 equal to e square by 2 so this integration c fz dz equal to 2 pi i residue at z equal to 2 that is equal to 2 pi i e square upon e square upon 2 so this is equal to pi i e square so this is the final answer next we will solve one more example using cos residue theorem this question is evaluate this particular question in two parts where cap c is a circle mod z equal to 2 and number second the circle mod z equal to 4 we will solve one by one so first sin z upon z minus z minus 1 is not analytic at z equal to 1 and z equal to 3 that is very clear now we need to check that are these points lying inside of this circle or outside of this circle because we are only concerned of that point which is lying inside this circle so both are the both are of order 1 simple pole for this circle mod z equal to 2 if mod z equal to 2 if we'll put this so we'll get here 1 and which is mod z equal to 1 if we'll put here so which is less than the radius radius is 2 radius is 2 so this point lies inside that circle and what about this z equal to 3 if we'll put z equal to 3 so 3 which is greater than the radius so this lies outside so this is outside z equal to 3 and this is inside so z equal to 1 is inside so signal point z equal to lies inside c so residue at z equal to 1 we need to calculate that is given by limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 into fz so this is equal to limit z tends to 1 sin z upon z minus 3 so this is equal to minus of sin 1 upon 2 now the integration along this curve c sin z upon z minus 3 into z minus 1 dz will be equal to 2 pi i residue at z equal to 1 because only one singular point lies inside that circle so 2 pi minus 2 pi i sin 1 upon 2 this is equal to minus pi i into sin 1 so this is the answer of the first part what about the second part in second part if you can see that the both the point both the singular point will lie inside that circle c so we need to calculate residue at both both the point this is the residue at z equal to 1 similarly we have to calculate the residue at z equal to 3 as well and then we will use Cauchy residue theorem and the you try it your own and the final answer should be equal to this okay i hope now you understand how to use Cauchy residue theorem thank you keep practicing